Hey there, loom knitters. This time we're going to learn the caterpillar stitch. Note that this is only a stitch pattern, so there's no cast on or cast off. Okay, let's start with rows one and two. For that first stitch, which is a knit, I prefer the U wrap, so half wrap your peg and knit off for that knit one. And for the purl, you bring it below the loop, scoop up the yarn and create a new loop, take the old one off, put the new one on, and pull. You then knit four more purls for a total of six stitches. So this stitch pattern has six stitches in total. You're just going to continue this knit one purl five until the end of your row. And then we're going to go on to row two. So now we are in the opposite direction because we're knitting flat and we're going to flip that pattern. So now we're going to purl five and knit one. So keep in mind that the pattern has a multiple of six and this does not include your edges. All right, and row one and two, you're going to repeat two more times, which is going to give you a total of six rows. And then we move on to row seven and eight. For row seven and eight, we're going to move that little caterpillar a bit down. So this uh, pattern is going to change a bit. So let's pay attention. We're going to start off with three pearls. So you guys remember how to do those pearls. So that's the first one. Here's your second pearl. One more. And then you're going to do a knit. And again, I prefer the U-wrap. So that is your U-wrap knit stitch. You're going to do two more pearls. And that's going to give you a total of six stitches. And you can see that from where my little stitch marker is. And then we're flipping that around because we're coming in a different direction. So this time you're going to do two pearls. And that's your first one. Here's your second pearl. And remember that I can get a little cumbersome because I'm trying to video and knit at the same time. And, well, I'm not a Wonder Woman. Not yet. So knit one. And now we're going to do three more pearls. And that's your pattern you just need to repeat rows seven through eight two more time and together with rows one and two you will have a total of 12 rows well hope you like that pattern and we'll see you again for another stitch pattern next time <laughs>